Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you for meeting me out here in the woods. In today's episode, we're going to be comparing these two axes. The Husqvarna Forest Multipurpose Axe versus the Council Tool Woodcraft Pack Axe. And we're going to see who comes out on top. So, what we're going to be doing is processing some dead standing cherry. And I'm thinking what we're going to do here is each axe is going to get its own tree. From felling to splitting and everything in between is all going to be done with one axe each. And, uh... Yeah, I'll quit jibber jabber and we'll get to it. All right, we're gonna start off with the Husqvarna multi-purpose axe. but I kind of want to do a side-by-side -side, uh, bucking cut, you know, just to get an idea of how quick we're getting to uh, like the halfway point in a bucking cut. So, um, all right, I'll keep going with the Husqvarna and then right next to it, we'll do the, the counter tool.
would help if my accuracy is on point. So, Husqvarna, about 35 seconds or so. The council tool, right around 45 seconds or so. So, it's uh, about a 10 second difference with this one taking about 10 seconds longer. There are variables there. Did I take longer in between swings on this ax? I'm not sure. They're about the same depth in the, uh, in the tree. I think they both cut really well, but we'll finish that up at the end. I'll give you my, uh, my feelings on both of these because we still have a whole tree to do with this. I just kind of wanted to get the, uh, I don't know, I kind of wanted to get the initial bug out. I really wanted to try this thing. So, all right, let me uh, keep going on this so we can switch over to this guy. Well, the Husqvarna, maybe not the best splitter. It's getting stuck pretty easily. You can see it's very thin up until this point, so you really gotta sink it deep for it to split. Also, I am trying to split pretty stubborn uh, cherry. Who knows, um, if you guys have any experience splitting with the Husqvarna on some of these smaller rounds, maybe it just depends on the wood. That's the pop we're looking for.
All right, guys, we're on day two. Um, we ran out of daylight the first day. I only get out of work about an hour before dark, so we only had time to do that one tree. But this is the second tree I was talking about. See, very similar situation, around the same size. Um, pretty much a dead standing cherry. We're gonna go through this one, uh, full process from felling to splitting with the council tool pack axe. Nice little felling cut there. Her face cut. And we'll do our back cut. All right guys, the tree has a natural lean this way. I tried to avoid it falling this way. I really wanted to fall that way into the clearing, but um, it, I could tell it just, it's starting to come this way during the back cut. So I'm gonna try to push it that way. I'm gonna take a little more out of it because I just tried pushing it and it's like springing back towards me. It's not a very big tree, but I still don't want to get hit with it. So uh, let's see what happens here. Oh. I think maybe too if it was heavier, it would have fell the way I wanted. There we go. Earlier on the video for you guys, yesterday for me, I did a side-by-side -side bucking cut. It was real quick, I really didn't have a feel for the ax. But uh, after these three bucking cuts, I'm pretty impressed. Um, I'll wait to the end to really elaborate and give you my full thoughts on it, but I don't know, this thing could pretty much do a lot of work. Well, wow. <laughs> all right. So the Husqvarna ax was kind of kicking my butt with splitting with that super thin profile. This is similar. You can see it's pretty thin. It's not like convex or um, high center line like an older ax. But if you compare the two, the Husqvarna is exceptionally thin. This has a little relief bevel 
action going on there. I don't know if it's more aesthetic or if it's really doing something. But uh, I'm excited to see how this thing splits them apart because that was just straight up getting stuck and it was kind of kicking my butt. So I'm hoping for better things with this one. Can you hang on? She popped. Wow. That made quick, made quick work of splitting. Again, a couple variables. It's a different tree. Same species of tree, every tree is different. You could see this cherry is very straight grain. That other stuff that we did with Husqvarna was uh, pretty naughty. I guess it would have been a little more fair to do the same tree with one ax, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see what I really think about it. All right guys, let's see if it was just straight grain wood or is that council tool really busting these things apart better. Let's try splitting this with the uh, Husqvarna. Okay, it was straight green wood. The other stuff was naughty. What do you want? guys we're running out of daylight here I just wanted to talk about these both quickly um, as you guys saw I did about the same amount of work with the same species of tree uh, with both axes um, collectively I love them both I think they both are absolutely awesome and they have no problem processing wood Husqvarna it's a good length the 26 inch length isn't bad it doesn't feel awkward in the hand where I think that's where this one lacks a little bit. I'm very impressed with how this processed wood, how it bucked. It really threw chips a lot better than the Husqvarna. The Husqvarna seemed to stick a lot more. Um, naturally, it's a little bit thinner. I expected that. But being around, I think they call this 24 inches. Um, after it's hung, it comes into like 23 and change. Mine's a little shorter. It's right around 23 exactly. It kind of has this weird feeling of like, it's too big to be a hatchet, but it's too small to be in a like forest ax. Um, Two-handed kind of feels okay, and one-handed it feels kind of oafy. I like it a lot, but I think if this handle ever breaks, I'll probably put it anywhere between a 26 to a 28 inch handle on it. And the reason why I decided to compare these both together is because I think that's where Council Tool was trying to target this. They were trying to, in my eyes, kind of stay hip with the bushcraft stuff, which is super popular in the past, you know, couple years with the, everyone going towards the Grandspurs Brook or the other Swedish axes like the Husqvarna and the HBs. So I think uh, back in 2015 when they came out with it, they did it right, man. They got the head shape that everybody runs out and wants. They got um, the grind, the flat grind versus a convex grind. And let's not forget the hardened pole. That is huge if you're going to have a bushcrafty camping style axe. Um, so in conclusion, I think both are great. I'll be honest. I can't make my mind up. I could tell you this, though. They're both going to see a lot of work. But if you were a bushcrafter or if you were into processing wood seriously, I don't think you would not like either um, one. I don't think I have to point out the obvious here. We're back in the creepy basement. Sorry about that. The SD card ran out when we were out in the woods. I didn't realize. So I'm going to try to just kind of pick up where we left off here. Um, yeah, I mean, both axes are great options. There's minor pros and cons with uh, both of them, but nothing drastic. Uh, I don't think you would dis be displeased with either of them. It really comes down to personal preference. You know, sure, this one's a lot more packable, but I think they both performed great, and I really do think um, Council Tool did a really good job with this axe, especially saying it is 
usable right out of the box. Uh, they definitely didn't lie. You guys watched it. it. It works really well. Is there room for improvement? Absolutely. You can see the branding is still right here. I didn't touch this thing. Um, I will be adjusting a couple of things, but uh, hey, I mean, you can't knock the company for sticking to their word. The axe is 100% usable out of the box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're able to take something away from it. Um, if you were on the fence on either one of these axes, I hope I was able to help. Uh, if you have any suggestions or you want to see more work with these, um, just keep a lookout for some videos because these will be out in the field yet again. All right, thanks guys.